Hi there, welcome back to fmhtutorials.com, starting a new feature for this month. We're going to be looking at making some kind of complex tro, heavy electro, uh, some dubstepy kind of sounds really using FM8 um, to build this loop, what I played for you there. Starting off in this video we're going to be making the bass sounds and also discussing how I've processed some of these bass sounds uh, and then in the following videos look at making the chord sound um, and the kind of pitchy kind of stabby sounds and then processing this whole loop basically so just using an FM8 to create this kind of genre of electronic music and using kind of logic plugins and fab filter plugins to process these sounds in this loop so we're going to start off today in this tutorial making these two sounds so this kind of stabby bass and the sort of more warbly kind of sound the okay so I've got these bounced out as audio at the moment um, just because it was better to sort of process it that way so um, if I unhide all my MIDI tracks and we've got FM8 here, this stabby bass, and we'll start off by creating a new sound here and make this kind of stabby bass sound. So move over to the operators section first and for operator F we're going to keep this as a sign. This is going to be the kind of bottom end of the sound. So take the ratio down to 0.25. Um, I want to key sync all of these operators as well to get a nice consistent bass sound going to root operator F into the filter at full volume, root the filter to the output. So we're just going to get a very low sine wave to start with. I'm going to feed F back into itself at about 30 as well just to grit up that sign. Uh, turn on operator E next and root this to the filter slightly lower at 92. Um, change this to a sixth format wavetable key synced again. 0.125 on the ratio so we're not going to get much action at the moment we're going to have to sort of introduce some more operators uh, just to give a bit more sort of tone and character in the sound so turn on operator D next uh, and this can be parabole waveform go 0.125 on the ratio key sync and root this into E about 14 and into F about 14 and operator C next and 0.375 on the ratio the waveform gonna have a 1 plus 3 plus 5 square uh, key synced turn it on Move this into F at 51 and to the filter at 63. So next up we need to move to the master section and just transpose the whole sound up by one octave. Uh, make the sound mono. I'm actually going to get rid of this mas mastering as well. So because this is creating a little bit of latency so we can turn that mastering back on later so just get rid of that for now bring back up FM8 increase the voices of this sound to 2, take the detune off and just push the digital up to 71 so okay so next we need to move over to the envelope section okay so we need to sort of get some plucky envelopes really to create that sort of stabby kind of effect with the sound. So starting off, um, well, I'll press F, E and D. You can just pull the release out a little bit so we're not going to get any kind of nasty click on the tail of these sounds. And then I'll press, and then yeah, link. And let's link these together. So D, E and F have all got the same envelope now and turn to operators. C or envelope C and just create, just take the sustain off the sound really so and because this is feeding into operator F it's kind of distorting operator F with that kind of frequency modulation so 
with this envelope now, it's kind of giving a nice plucky sort of sound. So what we can do next is move over to the filter and just emphasize that pluck a little bit more. Um, I can also, we're using the resonance here. I mean, it's by default, the resonance of both the filters is at 50. And that just brings quite a nice kind of sort of raspy top end on the sound. Just pull that down a bit there. The filter 2 resonance to about 27 and filter 1 put about 30. And let's push the spread of filter 2 right up to 100 and pull the cutoff down to 8. I'm going to use this filter envelope here to just kind of emphasize that sort of stabby quality. So envelope amount, push it up to 100 and do a similar thing what we did with the envelope C. Just take that sustain right off. Push this decay slope, push that up a little bit and then just pull this attack just so the level comes down a little bit here. And we've got quite a cool sound going on there and emphasize that even further by using the pitch envelope here. So at the moment we're not going to, it's only on 10. So if we set an envelope up in here want a bit more of a pronounced effect so I'm going to push this envelope amount up to 86 and create a bit of a pluck in here so something like that okay so final thing for this stubby bass sound is some effects, the PQQ to just boost some kind of lower mids and a tiny bit on the higher mids. And a tiny amount of reverb. So times to 12. Bright push up to about 67. Put the time down or the treble down slightly and push the dry weight up to about 60. And also chorus delay sounds quite nice on bass sounds really. Uh, just used as a chorus. Push that diffusion up to around halfway. Take the low cut off a little bit. It's not getting too much low cut in that chorus. Push the mod depth up to around halfway as well, and then just pull the dry weight down to about 30. And there's our sound, there's our kind of stubby bass sound. Here's the MIDI that I've got playing for that riff. Just quite a straightforward MIDI pattern. Okay, so let's set up this kind of warbly bass sound next okay so this kind of warbly bass sound here let's create a new sound in FM8 um, head straight to the operator section and again operator F is going to be assigned key synced 0.25 just to create, sort of provide the bottom end in the sound uh, going to route all of these operators through the filter again so Turn the filter on, route F into Z at uh, full volume 100 and also just kind of feed F back into itself at about 47. Um, and let's just kind of loop over where we've got the MIDI of this sound playing. Okay, so operator E next. Turn that on. Um, route to the output about 94 and root into itself just to kind of feed it back a little bit about 30 and the ratio take down to 0.25 as well make this a PWM ramp mod and key synced and operator D next turn it on 
route to the filter at 78, slightly lower volume. Feed into itself at 41. And um, also feed it into F at 46. And let's just push the cutoff up of this filter so we can hear the sort of top end in the sound. And it's going to be a 1 plus 6 waveform. And the ratio is going to be right down to 1.25. Quite a nasty sort of tone, really. Turn on operator C next. And route to the output slightly lower, 37. Keep the ratio at 1. And make it a 1 plus 2 plus 3 saw. Feed it into itself at about 36. Uh, operator B, 0.25, 1 plus 3 plus 5, square wave, no need to key sync this, um, turn it on of course, and route to the output about 35, and also into F. Eighty, um, and then operator A finally point five on the ratio. One plus two plus three saw. Turn it on. Into the, the filter about forty, and also into F again. At sixty, and so let's move to the master section next. And by transposing the sound that by one octave. It'll just give it a much nicer sort of tone. Yeah, make it monophonic. It's obviously a bass sound. And go four voices. Um, and because we haven't key synced all of these operators, just the kind of ones providing most of the low end energy, we can actually use this pan feature to just give the sound a bit of width. The pan about halfway. And also the digital push that up to about 62 just to introduce a bit of bit crushing. Okay, so let's move to envelope section next. And all we need to do for these envelopes is just link envelopes A through to F. Pull the release out slightly so we're not going to get any click on the tail. Um, and just pull the kind of sustain down. So we've got a sharp attack and then the, the sound kind of dips slightly. And then just zoom right in and just back this attack off ever so slightly. So and taking off that kind of transient off the front of the sound. This should be a bit nicer to kind of mix with really without that transient there. So let's move to the filter next and make a set up the envelope on this filter to give it that kind of wob sort of sound. So pull the cutoff down to zero. Resonance push up to 44. Not going to hear anything now because obviously we've got the cutoff right down. And filter two, push the spread up to 100 and resonance to 27. And then filter envelope amount push to 55 and then let's set up that kind of that envelope. So what we want to do with this envelope is kind of back that attack off so we just to give it that kind of wobbly kind of shape so we can do with this is with this tempo synced envelope so that the motor fix just take the sustain point right down um, and back this attack off here so curved maybe just something like that basically okay so with that envelope set up let's move to the effects section next uh, I'm going to distort the sound which should drive up to about 56 push that tone up to 100 to bring the top end back into the sound, keep everything else the same. Shelve and EQ, 
going to just boost the lows and the highs with this. This brings out some quite nice characteristics in the sound. Peak EQ, which boosts some of the kind of high mids and highs. And finally, a chorus delay, similar to what we set up with the previous sound. Push the fusion to about halfway. Um, push the low cut up slightly to just take some of the low end off the chorus. High cut can stay at full, feedback, moderate, everything else can stay the same really. Just pull the dry wet down to around quarter of the way. And just pull the volume down of one of these EQs just to bring the sound down and level a bit. And that's the sound basically. So what I did once I'd set these two sounds up was I bounced them down to audio, which we have here. And and you know the MIDI for this warbly kind of bass was just these two stabs, a shorter stab, and then a kind of um, a longer stab, a bit higher up. It's got a bit more decay on it. So so yeah, I mean this stab audio. The only processing they've done is just some side side chain compression, basically. Um, just to duck, if I just mute the drums, just to duck it out on the kick drums, and uh, just standard stuff really, and this kind of warbly bass, same thing, it's got some side chain compression on it, um, some pro Q, just to boost again even more kind of high, mids and high mids. And then this is what's kind of having the biggest impact on the sound is Fab Filter Saturn. So just move over to this section here, listen to the effect that's having. And I muted the kind of low end on this Fab Filter Saturn. So we're not distorting that low end on this sound at all because that would have just, I think that would have just distorted it too much. As you can see, most of the energy is down there. But on this section here, I've just distorted from around 125, 126 hertz and upwards. Use the lead amp sound. Um, the mix is about 54%. Levels dip slightly uh, and then just driven it, you know, just driven this band. So if I turn this off, it's that giving it that kind of distorted guitar, electric guitar kind of sound, which is pretty cool. Um, and I've also used some some of these kind of EQs to give it a bit more sort of sort of presence and stuff really. So there's the two bass sounds. If I give that a little spin um, with the drums, just mute everything else for now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, make sure you check us out for part two where we're going to be going through how we made this chord sound and some of these kind of pitchy sort of stabby sounds in FM8. And yeah, any questions, please get in touch. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye. <laughs>